Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to have a look at Beam NG Drive on the INEO Air Plus Intel i3 1215U. It's a bit of a mouthful. Shouldn't run on this. So this has, as I've said, the Intel i3 processor. It's a six core, eight thread. It gets two, two big cores and four little cores. It's got eight gig of RAM. It's got 128 gig NVMe built in and I'm using a one terabyte micro SD and that's what the game is installed on. Now we'll load it up. We're going to use Pro mode here. Oh, I'll try that again. And we're going to let it have the full 15 watts. 1080p. And we're going to just try and see if we can get this running. So what we should see initially is a, a low memory warning. There's only 8 gig of RAM in this machine. So that's 8 gig of RAM split between Windows, the game itself, and the graphics side. And BeamNG, its minimum requirement is 16 gig of RAM. So it shouldn't even load. But you're just about to have your mind blown. This actually loads. Now it comes up with a few memory errors initially. We'll not worry about that. So we'll just launch the game. Now it says there's some errors reported, but that's fine. Let's just ignore that. And let the game carry on loading. Surprisingly, it actually loads up pretty fast when it gets going. So let's have a quick look at the settings. So the very similar settings to the ones I used on my Steam Deck. Now the Steam Deck was set to use as much power as it liked, so it would use the whole 15 watts, same as this. Um, it was using the, the FSR built into SteamOS. It also ran Cryobyte utilities to try and free up some memory, and 4 gig of RAM had been allocated to the GPU side. That's not set up here. In the settings itself, I think it was a mixture of low and lowest settings on the Steam Deck. Now, it's all lowest settings here. All very much the lowest settings. And in display, we are going to go for, now ignore the monitor that shows up incorrectly, but we're going to use full 1080p and just see what happens. So this should not work. I'll look in graphics and we'll just, I think the one problem I have here is it doesn't like to scroll, but we're not using any we are using dynamic resolution scale and we're just letting it take whatever defaults at once. So, as you can see, it looks really good. We're going to fire up a couple of scenarios. We'll go with my faithful couple of scenarios, Port Escape. What is going on here? And we'll let this load up. Now, on your initial boot of this game, first time you try it, you'll get lots of little red errors up at the top corner saying there's like various different warning messages. And you will have to go in, uh, go out of the game and go into the messages section and acknowledge them all. There'll be about five, maybe six different low memory acknowledgements. But it does actually work. Now, at the start here, you will want to try and make sure you're not running too many other apps in the background. We literally have the IA Space software and Steam, and that is it. Uh, and we're still using 7.5 gig of RAM. So what I have found on other games, like Forza Horizon 4, it'll peak right up to the 8 gig limit and then just crash the game. Look how fast this loaded. This loaded faster than it does in the Steam Deck. Now we are using the lowest settings, but look how quick that loaded in the textures and the cars. I can't believe that. And we're also, on the Steam Deck you get average 30 FPS. At worst it'll dip into the high 20s, but at best it's low, low 30s. And look at this! It's in the 40s! Only just. Oh, it's dipped into the top, the high 30s there, but I can live with that. And it, and it drives just like it does in the Steam Deck. That's not to say my driving's any good. It absolutely isn't. 
Look at this, it's, it's running perfectly. Why? How? How can something as low cost, remember this costs $269. Most of the YouTubers you see posting content in BMG Drive probably run a graphics card that costs more than $269. Hell, they've probably got a keyboard that costs more than that. And here we are playing on something that costs less than $300. The question is, can I jump onto the the ferry at the end? Can I get to the end? With my terrible driving? Oh, maybe not. Look at this. It's up to the 50s FPS. That is unbelievable. And something as low powered as this. Now, I can't actually see. We're using nearly 15 watts there. 14 point. Oh, just over 15 watts now. Oh. And I've crashed it. Oh no, damaged the engine. Will we get there? See, I was too busy looking at the uh, tiny performance metrics at the top of the screen there. That was my my mistake. So 15.1 watts we're pulling. And you, the clever out there might have... Oh! Yeah, as I was saying, the observant of you out there might have noticed the... Um, the IA space allows me to tweak all the way up to 20 watts, and that's because I'm using the old version of IA space software. And not that I've actually tested it that high yet. I've not needed to. Look at this, we made it. Look how well that ran. On 8 gig of RAM. Cannot believe that. So, what's my other favourite one? We do like the police chase, don't we? Let's try that one. And I've installed my first mod. So we'll try that as well. It's the car jump arena. Everyone seems to love that. And I have to say it runs really well. Look at this thing. 1080p we've got. So the Steam Deck struggles to run 600p. And I actually thought that was a pretty good result. This is impressive. It really is. It's just a shame... This was too popular and, and too cheaply priced. At £269, this was a... Everybody would buy it. Everybody would buy one of these at $269. Sorry. Absolute bargain. So at the moment, you can pick a Steam Deck up for £314 in the UK. So that's probably about $400-ish. Uh, that's, a, that's a bargain in itself. But if you want to play Steam NG... Uh, BeamNG Drive, then this is a better option. Look at that, look how quick that loaded in. No slow texture loading. If you want to see what I mean about slow textures loading, have a look at my um, my other BeamNG Drive video on the Steam Deck to see what it's like when it loads in textures initially when you're doing a level. Now there is a bit of pop in, it is the lowest settings. Oh wow, this is, this is just amazing. Now, as I said in my other video, on the uh, the i3 1215U, if you can get one of these at the original Kickstarter price, it's worth buying. And if you play BeamNG Drive, it's definitely worth buying. Oh, forgive the bad driving though. Oh, 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 oh look at that. I didn't even have to worry about catching the guy. He stuffed it into a tree. Let's look at that though. Look how playable this is. Just can't go over this. It just runs so well. There's a car jump arena. And we'll just spawn ourselves at the top of the hill, shall we? Look at this. On this tiny little six inch screen, it's got little switch style sticks that are, that are actually really nice to use. The D-pad is pretty nice, I have to say. 
The buttons, on the other hand, are tiny. But they're usable. That's, I've seen some people saying that they, they've had a problem with mashing multiple buttons. And I've got relatively big hands. Maybe not fat fingers, but I manage not too bad. I've not accidentally pressed any buttons. One thing I do dislike, and I can understand why I've done this. I've done it just purely for, for aesthetics. So while it's embossed with the logo, when you're not paying attention, you can't really see what they say. It's particularly annoying on these ones. Just a little bit of finishing work on these buttons, just for like, I just think it would have just helped. But anyway, look at this. Car jump arena. Can I change the car? Can I remember how to change the car? Let's go change to something crazy. Oh, look at this, a big lorry. That'll do the trick. And we'll pick that one, because it's a lovely shade of baby blue. Now look how quick that loads in. Remember, this is a budget APU, and it's all Intel. Can't get it going now, though, that's the only thing. What have I pushed? Ah, here we go. Maybe we should practice a little bit more with these key combinations, but we're getting there. Remember, this isn't really a game, I don't think, that's designed for playing on a handheld. And it's sure not designed to be used on a budget handheld like this. Now, look, some of the textures are a bit shonky. <laughs> it's actually all right. Whee! Oh, that didn't turn it so well, did it? We get to 200, do you think? Oh, we're beyond 200. And a ginormous lorry. Oh! And it stayed on its wheels, and it stayed to get... Oh, mostly stayed together. And now it's hydro locked. So there you have it. BeamNG Drive on the Ioneo Air Plus Intel i3-1250 new. Who knew something so low-powered could run this? Now the challenge is, for any of you out there that have bought the Mendocino or Mendocino version of the Air Plus, or possibly the AYN Loki would be a good good test. Can you test a Mendocino model and try BeamNG Drive? Let's see if it runs. Let's see if it runs this well. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.